Hi guys, Perry Shakes Drayton here, European double indoor champion, a world champion and a proud Olympian. So I've got these questions here that um, you guys have submitted and um, hopefully you're going to get to know a bit more about me from answering these questions. So question one, how did you get involved in running? Well, it all kind of started in primary school and my primary school teacher was like, she spotted that I had some type of talent. But she's, she said, Perry, I think you really should join an athletics club. So then one summer I went down to a local um, athletics club in Myland. Um, I really enjoyed the session. Um, and then there I met my coach at the time, Chris Saar. And it was a case of, I came there as a distance runner, but distance running definitely wasn't for me. <laughs> So I went down in distance and eventually discovered the hurdles. Which single race would you want to be most remembered for and why? Um, okay, I'm going to give you two answers. Um, when it comes to the 400 meter hurdles, I would say the race that happened at Crystal Palace in 2012. So that was my final race before I went to the Olympic Games. And it was a rainy, wet, cold day um, in South London. And I wasn't one of the favourites. And I love being an underdog. And I came out, ended up winning the race and winning uh, and running a personal best. Um, another race I would love to be remembered for is, again, 2012. Um, was the indoors, the World Indoor Championships. And I was on the final leg um, running against uh, Sanya Richards. Uh, she had already just won the individual in the 400 metres and I held it up for the team and we ended up going home with the gold. A very exciting race. Who were your sporting heroes growing up? Funny enough, I actually never actually watched um, athletics growing up. Or if anything, if I watched sports, it was football. And I was a fan of Ian Wright because that was what was kind of played in the household. And I was a Guna fan. <laughs> Top career highlight and post career highlight. My top career highlight is definitely going to the Olympics. London 2012, in my backyard, it was amazing. I may have not come home with a medal, but the whole experience, go in your home Olympics, it's, an, it's, an, it's a competition or something I will never forget. My post-career highlight is definitely becoming a mum. Yes, I am a mum to a six-month-year-old, Matthew, and he has just brought so much joy into my life. It's funny, um, I didn't, I always, I didn't know how I'd be as a mum, but I'm telling you what, I'm absolutely enjoying it. What would a typical diet look like for me when competing? When I was competing, um, I would say I, I ate a very balanced diet. We could say for breakfast, I would have a bowl of porridge to start my day. For lunch, it would maybe be my leftovers from the night before, which could have been like a chicken and rice dish or a love the tuna pasta dish. Um, dinner, you know, similar. I love my potatoes, lasagnas. Um, when it comes to like getting my veg and fruits in, I can eat fruits by themselves, but veg was something that I used to try and kind of incorporate into a smoothie and stuff and loved it with a peanut butter. Um, but yeah, pretty much a balanced diet. Um, I tried to stay away from sweet stuff, but uh, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you, in my sports bag, I'll always have a packet of jelly babies for that sugar boost. What's your favorite relay leg? Definitely the anchor leg. Call it the last leg or the glory leg, whatever you want to call it. That was by far my favorite leg. But any, if you put me in any position or any leg, I'm going to run my heart. What was going through your mind during... Mm -hmm. 
what was going through your mind during the anchor leg when you were being chased by Sanya Richard Ross? I was thinking, this woman is not going past me. I have a very good peripheral vision and I could definitely sense when someone is on my shoulders. I could feel her, but I was telling myself, no way is this woman going past me. <laughs> and she didn't. And, we, and I ended up falling, but the fall was definitely worthwhile. What was the feeling of competing at a home world championships at London 2017? That year was my comeback year from my major injury that I sustained in 2013. And to be back at my, at, you know, a home championships, competing in front of a home crowd, even up to now, as I describe it, I can remember the roar when I was coming off the bend. You know, I must say the British public, the fans, they are amazing. And they definitely made me feel like home. And it definitely was a great race to come back to. How did Dance on Ice compare to competing on the track? Well, Dance on Ice was very, very glamorous. I mean, I had an outfit change. Um, and I mean, the outfits were amazing. Um, competing, I mean, you, I had to, you know, perform in front of an audience, but competing is like thousands of people. Now, Dance on Ice was to a camera and a small audience, small studio. I think my, the other contestants were a lot more nervous than me. Um, I was pretty much like, I love to perform. You know, I want to show people what um, I've been practicing. And yeah, I mean, on the track was, you know, strictly business, a lot, a lot more serious. Um, dance on ice, it was definitely a lot more fun. Even though it had its risks. But I was very sensible <laughs> and played it very safe. You had your first child, Matthew. Here, look. Do you want to play that one? It's good. You had your first child, Matthew, in August 2020. What has it been like raising a baby in lockdown? So yes, I had my first child, Matthew, uh, back in August. And I mean, being in lockdown meant that family members, when they wanted to see him, they couldn't necessarily see him. So I've been doing a lot of calls over Zoom and over WhatsApp video. Um, but the, the good thing it has been is that as a family, my little small unit, uh, me, Mike and Matthew, we've actually got to spend a lot of time with each other um, and bond a little bit more. And um, the fact that we both work from home. So yeah, I mean, it's not been too bad for us. Since you retired, you'd appeared on MTV with Mike. What's the experience been like and how does it compare to what you did on the track? Well, film with MTV has been so fun. I mean, they've followed and documented the journey from my pregnancy to giving birth and um, following Matthew as he grows into a, a, an amazing young boy. Um, I mean, cameras are constantly on you. In, on the track, usually, you know, people only see when you're competing. Um, you know, you don't really, people don't really get to see you um, at training. Cause I know when I was um, an athlete, my focus was just on getting the training done. It wasn't the case of recording my sessions, but now athletes, now I notice they, train, they um, record their sessions and are a bit more insightful. And I think it's really great to see. What's Perry's dream relay team from people that she's either raced with or against? Oh, wow. That's good. Okay. What we're doing, four by four? We could do four by four. Uh, so, that is, I love it. On my team, I would have <laughs> Christine Harugu. Got to have her. We've had some great times with each other. We ran some really great races. Um, strong leg. 
um, I would have, I'm gonna keep it British. I'm gonna keep it British. I would have, ooh. Ooh, this is good. I'm thinking of all the people who have really good legs. Donna Frazier, she would want a sick leg, you know, in her career. Um, I would have Annika, Annika Nuru, another one. You want the light people come through strong. And I'm going to put myself on it, obviously. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good question. Um, has Perry ever considered coaching? And what, with hindsight, does she believe her greatest strengths were as an athlete? Coaching, I, you know what? I answered this question um, a few weeks back on a QA and a on my Instagram. I really rate coaches. I honestly don't think I could be able to coach. Um, but my greatest strengths as an athlete were my determination, my work ethic, and the will to learn.